And so on Jack Weather Center now, and we've been talking about possibility of rain. Everybody's excited. Taylor Hicks in the studio. Yeah, just in the house right here. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we'll get to him in just like No one wants to listen to weather now. <laughs> All we got to know about that as well. Yeah, as long as I don't sing the weather. Even my three-year-old doesn't let me sing her to bed at <laughs> night. Smart. So that's <laughs> struggling right there, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, here's what we're looking at for today. This is a live look from our Storm Track Tower Cam in Tuscaloosa. A cloudy start this morning and temperatures across the board sitting at 71. And again, we're going to see some slivers of sunshine, but those clouds really holding tough this morning. Birmingham is sitting at 73, Aniston's at 72 right now, but we did have some clear skies, so not everyone socked in with a cloud cover. Where we're seeing a bit of clearer sky, those temperatures have slipped into the 60s. Coleman and Cleveland both at 67, Talladega sitting at 68 this morning. Dry scan for the most part on our radar, but notice just a couple of showers moving across Lake Martin. Most of the rain this morning, though, is going to stay well to our south and maybe clip just this northeastern edge of our viewing area. Area. But let me show you the big picture. I'm tracking rain moving in from the west. This is a cold front to our west, and that's going to usher in some moisture. Uh, but here's what we're looking at. It, this air mass is going to get a little stickier today, and that's all because of winds out of the south. And then coupled with that front, those two ingredients mix together and create those thunderstorms. Already beginning to see some thunderstorm activity in west Tennessee. This will continue moving through the Tennessee Valley. And as I mentioned before, tracking some of these light showers right now, but these are tracking off to the north and to the east, scooting just to the northeast of Lake Martin. All right, let me break down your morning. For you hour by hour. You're getting up, you're getting at them, you're trying to get out the door, head off to work this morning. Mid to upper 70s through 9 a.m., 80 degrees by 10. I think it actually stays pretty quiet through your lunch hour, 85 there. But then notice what happens at about 2 30. This line of storms moves through, and we will see some occasional showers and storms through the late afternoon and early evening. We could even see a few showers in East Alabama after sunset tonight. But I don't think rainfall today is going to be incredibly widespread. But keep in mind, even if we only see a small coverage of rain, some localized areas could get dumped with some soaking showers, so always keep that in mind. Overnight tonight, that dry air moves back in. Temperatures fall back into the 60s in some locales. Tomorrow, we're back in the mid to upper 80s. Loads of sunshine for your Saturday. Listen closely. Could see some clouds today, but we'll see sunshine tomorrow and then rain on tap Sunday. Here's what your future cast is looking like Sunday morning through the afternoon. Increasing rain chances to our west. And then notice as this uh, little boundary lifts to the north, we are going to see that rain fall increase in coverage from the southern part of our viewing area to the northern part and this rain will actually continue through our Monday as well as this front kind of stalls out to our north and that's why we're going to issue a weather aware for both Sunday and Monday. We want you to be apprised to quickly changing weather conditions and because school starts back next week just definitely keep your eye to the sky. That unsettled weather pattern will continue through the middle of the week.